The summary is basically that in the, in the Ministry of Transportation, I won't say we met anything comatose. We met an attempt to bring back our rail services. There was the um, Kaduna Abuja, which was about nearly 80% completed, and the present director that we must complete it. I'm sure you know it's been completed by now, and we've put commercial services on that trade at a very cheap cost because we realize the impact of the recession on Nigerians. That, that, it's so cheap that Nigerians are asking us to increase the cost of transportation to, to Kaduna. Somebody mentioned to me yesterday that it costs more to transport from Midu into Abuja when compared to transporting from Idu to Kaduna. That's because the President's directive is the impact must not be had on the poor people of Nigeria. We move from there, after assessing the ministry, to look at maritime. We believe that more funds can be gotten for the government in the area of maritime. So the President has approved for a performance audit of the maritime sector. Part of the problem of the maritime is the fact that we have had insecurity on our waterways. Again, the President has approved and we're waiting for cabinet approval for a new security infrastructure that will lead the maritime uh, environment of this piracy and robbery and all the activities, illegal activities taking place in that sector. The next is Nimasa. We need to rebrand Nimasa. Nimasa in the past looked like it. everybody wanted, everybody, I'm sure even this all, everybody wanted to work in Nimasa. Everybody wanted to be the DJ of Nimasa. Everybody wanted to be the board member of Nimasa. We need to let everybody know that Nimasa is not the sea spot of corruption. That Nimasa is a regulatory authority. It's not a place where they, come, where they award contracts. The last Nimasa we saw was a Nimasa that was awarded contracts in universities. There were so many faculties of maritime in the several, different universities. When we came, we went after the branding it and we stopped that contract award. That money was taken from the shipbuilding fund. That fund is meant for Nigerians who are into ship, uh, 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 maritime transportation, that they want to access the fund for, to buy more, more vessels. We've kept that fund, we're saving it now. The last I knew about it was about 53 billion naira. So we have to save Nigerians from that corruption of taking that money. I think people are beginning to accept now that Massa is not a place you go for contract, it's not a place you go to steal money. We also look at the register of Nimasa to improve on it. Liberia is second in the, in the world. We are down there. We are out of IMO uh, executive. We are battling to get back this year because there's an election that will take place in November. I'm sure you are also aware that we are looking at the reform in MPA to see how we're going to make it, to improve on it, improve on the reform started by President Abbasanjo and ensure that the NPA is able to perform at the maximum uh, 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 time. We're also looking at the possibility of, and I'm sure the Minister for Finance will speak to this, introducing the single window. The single window is between customs and NPA, and it will ensure that you're able to move your goods out of the seaport in 48 hours. We are determined, and the process is in place, and we are working towards achieving that. I don't know whether it will be before the end of the year or early, early next year. Again, we, in terms of railways, we've awarded the contract, three contracts. We've awarded the contract from Lagos to Ibadan, Kano to Kaduna, and Portaco to Calabar. This is based on the loans we get from the China Exim Bank. They have approved $1.2 billion. The China Exim Bank has approved $1.2 billion. The federal government has released its own counterpart funding for the, for the Lagos Ibadan. Work has commenced. We hope that they will finish before December 2018, because that's what we told them, even though they are asking for first quarter in 2019. We are determined to complete that in 2018. Kando Kaduna is yet to start. Portacot Calabar is yet to start, because we are yet to get the loan. This loan has been approved in China, we are yet to assess the loan because we are waiting for the National Assembly to give us approval. Three months after approval from the China Exim Bank, we are yet to sign the agreement. I hope that at any point in time, the, China, the um, National Assembly gives us approval, we will go to sign the loan. But currently, they are working with our counterpart funding, and once we get the approval from the National Assembly, we would pay as a, as a milestone, as a rich milestone. 
the other part of railway that we are here, there are two more parts. We've resumed work at Itabe Wari. Itabe Wari has been there for the past 34 years. The problem is that the 60 billion allocated in Itabe Wari has been removed by the National Assembly. I hope that will be resolved so that we can put back the money so that we can complete Itabe Wari. The agreement with the contractors is that it will be completed first quarter 2018. If the money is not put back, then I don't make the promise that I will complete in 2018 because there will be no money for them. The money that will be left will be money meant for Lagos, no, no, Kano Kaduna, and Port Harcourt, Calabar. The next one is the concession that is going to take place on the narrow gauge. Currently, we, the, the uh, Federal Executive Council has approved that we will commence negotiation after the approval of the OPC. Today, after here, we are going for the negotiation meeting. The, Chief Executive Officer of GE Africa is in Nigeria. We part of the negotiation immediately. We leave this place. While the negotiation for the agreement, while the negotiation for the concession is going on, they have come with what we refer to as an interim measure. The interim measure is going to be put in place between now and July to ensure that we begin to run rail services from Lagos to Kano, from Port Harcourt to Medjugorje. Even if we don't get to Medjugorje, at least I'm sure we can get to Gobe. And that will start before the end of July. That, and the, the GE is going to bring about 20 locomotives, 500 wagons, and some coaches for, for passengers. You are aware that Niwa has commenced, if you're from Lokoja, between Lokoja and Onisha, we've commenced maintenance dredging. Like I said earlier, we are not going to exceed 100 million naira for that maintenance dredging. The reason is because we are using our own dredging equipment. We are not awarding the contract because there is no money to award any contract. So we are using the, our own uh, dredger to dredge River Niger. When they get to Anisha, we will continue from Anisha to Bayesa and come back from Lokoja to Baru. We are going to complete Baru seaport, uh, no river port rather this year and, and possibly commission it. We've completed the Kaduna, the Kaduna uh, dry port. There are some dry ports in the country. Some of them are under construction, but they are under PPP, not government. The Kaduna one has been completed. We'll commission it again before July. We've looked at the one in Joss. That should be ready in the next two, three months for the one in Joss. The, the star project is a railway. That means a is the airport. You put in believe that we can complete the airport in six weeks. There is a, a video flying around. It is not Abuja airport. I don't know where they got it from. You know, when people say they plan, say, what will they do? Nigerians will forward bad news. They won't forward good news. <laughs> so even if we issue a statement to say, no, no, that's not Abuja airport. That is not only one point. Oh, okay, that's government talking. Nobody will forward it around to make it viral the way you made it around viral. But for those of you who are here and for Nigerians who are listening, that is absolutely not Abuja Airport. If you doubt you can go to Abuja Airport when the time is raining, if you see that, come forward. So it is just, again, mischief. Fake news. Th th Trump's fake news. <laughs>